hopeful that by putting members of industry in the room with folks who actually run ACOs, that there will be an opportunity for them to have really solid pieces of information that they could take back to their organizations and be able to act upon. This isn't about the theoretical, it's not about writing a white paper, it's about concrete things that they can do to help drive their industry to the next level as we engage the work in healthcare reform. had some challenges as it relates to collaboration. First of all, ACOs are a brand new concept. And so the first step is really trying to help people understand what an ACO is and what it's intended to do. The second step is trying to figure out where is industry and how is their work changing. I'm not sure that they know either. And that's why the dialogue, that's why the conversation tends to help. I also think that there's opportunity for us to think differently about pushing the boundaries on some of the things that have historically been the work of industry and thinking together about ways in which we might be able to advance that concept uh, for the betterment of patient care. I think the most important part for life sciences companies and for ACOs is to start the conversation. Without talking to one another, without dialoguing, we'll never find the solutions that we need to to help advance care for patients in this country. And so a large part of the conversation is just getting started. Um, we'll figure out some of the challenges. We'll work with government to make sure that we're moving within the boundaries of what the law provides. But what's important is starting to talk. And that's hopefully what this conference will kick off. Thank you.